Welcome back to Dishonored, the Brigmore Witches. We've secured the ship, the Undyne, and we have Lizzie who can captain it, but we, what we don't have is an engine coil for the engine in the Undyne to actually work. So that's what we need to get from the Geezer, I think? Apparently that's their actual name. Combination is needed to reach the engine coil running the mill. Right, they're using it for the mill right now, but we need to take it back. Find the Geezer to see if you'll make a deal to give it up. Hatters have stolen the engine coil from the Dead Eel's ship, the Undyne. Ship is inoperable without it. Yes. Yeah, so apparently this whole place will fill with gas and we'll all die or something if they catch wind of me or something like that. So I think I kind of have to make a deal with the geezer. Is the geezer something they just call them or is that their actual literal name? Are they like, hello, I am geezer. Tana with her. They weren't wearing no clothes. I was just asking. Just because you're in charge of the gate, it don't mean the rest of us are idiots. Yeah? Well, since you're such a genius, it ought to be real easy to see who it was. So go check it out. Fine. I don't know why you're worried about nothing. I wonder if I can break that light. No, nope, but it did catch their attention. Ooh. I guess I'm safe to go here and do this. Oh, but the window's broken. Hold on. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. Yeah, ex exactly where I wanted him. Light as a shadow. Take less damage from falls. That's pretty good. I don't know if it's better than the stuff I already have, though. I've got really good ones. I mean, that 
That's all good. Good. Ammo greater amounts. Good. Good. I don't want to give up any of the ones I have. Can I teleport, like, inside through cracks? Or does it not work like that? Um... It doesn't work like that. I don't want to rewire that. At least I don't think I do. I think I'd rather just find a different way in. How do I get you? Oh, shit. That's a couple grenades. Um, right, when you trigger those things, you trigger them. Like, for real. Oops. Is that going to cause the gas to be released? Someone's messed with me. Come on, spread out. I think we're okay. <clears throat> I know something's Bull rat fetus. That must be for probably one of Granny Rag's recipes. <laughs> or something. Aha! We now have enough runes to get the next level of Bend Time. Now we can completely stop time. Time is stopped for the duration. Your movement speed is faster relatively. It's useful for sneaking and assassination since your enemies are suspended in time. Gives you time to slip past enemies and sneak away, or to rush them unaware for a lethal strike. Anything you come into physical contact with is pulled into your time and moves faster briefly. Also useful for stopping projectiles in mid-air, giving you a chance to move out of the way or even to collect them. You can collect them from mid-air. Oh. Oh, that is cool. Okay, I should probably put that somewhere even easier to access on my quick bar. Like, if things go wrong, I need to be able to access that super quick. Like, maybe I'll just put it as number two. Yeah, honestly. And then, um, sleep darts number four. And then I think pole number five. I think that'll be good. So first one is blink, which I want to do all the time, and then bend time to just chill out for a second. And this to see items. I think that's good. The Rat Plague, excerpt from a natural philosopher's notes. For over a year I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given the rapid gestation and maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town, in the slums, exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city, exhibit a younger strain of plague. 
Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof that Sokolov's elixir and Piero's, uh, Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague. If one consumes enough of the stuff. <laughs> well, they found evidence, but they're not coming to the correct conclusions. Because the reality is that the plague was placed in the poorer districts as a way of... What exactly were they trying to accomplish? Repress? The lower class or something? I don't remember precisely what, but yes, it was put there on purpose. Skeeves is gone. Looks like Skeeves ain't coming back from his patrol. It's been six days now. Don't get me wrong, I ain't grieving, because Skeeves and me didn't see eye to eye on many things. But it makes me sad because he swore he was bringing back a tremendous stash of coins he knew about up in the dried out waterway. I figured I'd part him from all those coins in a few card games, but that ain't to be. Who knows? If that water ever comes on again, it just may flush him on out, but I doubt it. When you get off duty tonight, we need to drink a toast to old Skeeves. Skeeves and a bunch of money in the waterway. Gotcha. Here, you'll be nice and comfy here. Yeah! Enjoy the fire. It's rare that a body actually goes where I want it to go. There's the power source. <sighs> Not that I need to turn it off anymore, but I'd still like to. <sighs> oh. Eh, that's fine. Nope, stop time, stop time. That's such a cool ability! God, these things scare me. Please go somewhere where... Uh, where I don't think you're likely to explode. Yes, I know drinking does nothing now that I took away that bone charm that heals me when I drink. I just wanted to do it. Is that the waterway that old Skeeves would be in? I don't really want to go swimming with the nasty little bitey fishes. Hmm. Guess I gotta try to kill him. I'm sorry, fish.
Trapers Ward Sewer. Ah. Oh. Can't grab, huh? Okay, let's get out of here. I think I have tons of potions, right? I got five. Yeah, five healing and five mana. I'm good. Main office is up, so let's go down. Ugh. This is what we need to make the deal about. Gone to look into the water flow situation in the sewers. If you need access to the engine room while I'm away, talk to Nurse Trimble. He's the only other person with the door combination. Ah, okay. Maybe we don't need to talk to Geezer. Like, maybe this is silly, but can I just grab the thing? No. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. The fuck are you looking at? Psh. I have an idea. Yoink. Didn't quite last as long as I would have liked it to. I was hoping it would only stop once I had already make, made off with the body. It's like, it's just long enough to maybe make off with the body if you're directly behind the person and just ready to get them right away. Doesn't last that long, that's for sure. As long as no one goes up or down a floor, no bodies will be discovered. <laughs> I have three Trank darts. Could freeze time and Trank him. Or even not freeze time and Trank him. I don't know if that's necessary though. Trimble's lab. God, all this fabric and all the machines for working with it all looks so beautiful. Explosive bolt refinement. Don't suppose I can grab that through the wall? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I didn't go where I thought we were going.
Wow, these machines are so cool. Look at them weave. Or whatever it is they're doing. Machines that work with textiles, weaving and things like that are so incredible to watch. They're just... Those actions, like I've seen videos of uh, weaving together a sock, for example, they're just so incredibly complicated. Sleep on a nice mattress. Metallic salts, what's that for? A history of Lizzie Stride. Lizzie, uh, sorry, little is known of Elizabeth Stride's origins except that she hailed from Morley. Have we read this before? I feel like we maybe have. So I'm not going to read it. Because I feel like we read something about how they like had their teeth filed down to be sharp. Like a shark or something. Sorry if we haven't read it. I feel like we may have though. Probably save. Oh, the lab. Oh. Empty elixir vial. Ooh. Are we going to be preparing something for geezer or something? The Effects of Whale Oil on the Gastric Humors, Volume 1. One benefit of this plague is the abundance of unclaimed bodies ready, readily available to the inquisitive medical mind. I have been able to stimulate gastric function in addition to other organ activity through infusions of whale oil and the application of electrical impulses. I believe that such treatments could be applied to the living and that it might prolong life indefinitely. When my process is applied to the stomach and intestinal systems, digestion does in fact still occur, though the end product must be evacuated from the stomach through tubing and processed by my machinery before being recirculated to the appropriate organs. This was a tricky solution to come across, as my first inclination was to break the food down myself and bypass the natural processes altogether. My subject has indicated that he, is, he no longer has a sense of taste, but that might be a mercy given what I'm feeding him these days. God. Oh ho! I thought the pillow seemed suspicious. Experiment timer. Oh, there's so many things. I want to listen to this first, though. Oh, it's not a real audio message, I see. Antitoxin. The antitoxin formula needs the following. Oxrush flour, bull rat fetus, and metallic salts. We have all of those. Haha. <laughs> Effects of whale oil and the gastric humors, volume two. My primary patient is no longer mobile. A loss of bone density coupled with the amount of organ maintenance that I have to perform on a daily basis means that he will be bound to a chair or bed for the foreseeable future. While this greatly agitated the subject at first, 
he quickly grew too fatigued to offer further protest. I cleared a room close to my lab, but with access to the mill so he could continue to give orders. Update. After three weeks of regression, the yellowish sores have reappeared around implantation site C. I was holding out hope for full recovery as the highest concentration of whale oil was pumped into this site in particular. God, this is ghastly what they're trying to do to keep this person alive. Timer calibration. The calibration of my experiment timer is slightly off. This should be fixed immediately. I like to check on my experiments immediately after the bell chimes. I have this all perfectly timed from the bell ring to the walk to my lab. This should be a top priority after you return from restoring the water flow in the sewers. Someone's got good handwriting, which makes me distrust him. <laughs> So if I set this timer and then it rings, are they going to come down here? Because they like to check on their experiments. Like, what, what exactly can I do? Can I make the thing now? Missing an empty vial. Okay. But, like, we need to supply this thing, right? I mean, we can't just do that. Oh, it's just, like, a dialogue option. Combine ingredients to create antitoxin. So what does that mean in practice? Can I make another one? Missing ingredients. With the antitoxin now, the gas won't affect me. Does that change what I'm about to do, though? I guess I could just stroll on in there and I don't have to be sneaky about it. And, you know, they can say like, ha we have you turn on the gas. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. I guess. A timer for five seconds, sure. I have a feeling they are going to come down and check on it. Nice. Yes. Maybe. Yes. Did I set this and forget? Running a war is getting to me. I wasn't born for this. Yoink. I'm not sure if that was really productive now that I think about it. They knew the combination in their brain. Now their brain is unconscious. <laughs> I did get the sewer access key. I don't know what good would be going there, but uh, I do want to go there. Should I not travel to the sewer right now? Like, it's a whole different instance. Should I finish up here first? Maybe this is my way out. To get back to the boat. Yeah, let's go pay a visit. To the geezer. There's no one around to hear them, help them. The gas isn't going to do anything against me. 